these here are hermit crabs, but they're not like the ones you see on your convenience stores. Those are Caribbean tree crabs, and those live on land. And these hermit crabs here have to live in water. So if you do run into one at the beach or in the bay, don't think you can grab it and take it home and just keep it in a sandbox because it will die. It has to stay in water. Now they are scavengers. I see most of the time they'll just crawl around the bottom of the sea floor and try to look for any dead organisms or any dead fish. And if you notice they have some antennas sticking out. Well, that's usually what they use to stick out first just to feel around to see if it's safe to come out. And the way they grow is actually the crab inside is what grows. The shell does not grow with the hermit crab. They actually switch out their shells every couple months. That's why if you notice, their shells are different. Well, once this one gets a little bit bigger, it can actually move into this one's home and, and so forth. They'll just keep growing as long as they have another shell to move into. And if they don't have another shell to move into, they'll come out of its shell and eventually die because they'll no longer have some sort of protection or home. <coughs> they do have two claws, but they're very small. They're not really aggressive. They will pinch people every once in a while if you don't hold them right. And the thing is, once they pinch you, it doesn't really hurt, but they just won't let go. You're going to have to break off the claw in order to get rid of it. Do they always look for an empty shell to move into or will they try and kick out somebody that's Most of the, time, that's most of the time an empty shell because they're moving into a bigger shell and if it's occupied by another hermit crab, more than likely that hermit crab is going to be bigger. So 